Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to any subscribers or returners. Thank you for coming back. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a moisturizing routine and I bought a bunch of new products, mixing new oils, so something new for you guys to see and at the end of the month I'll let you know how I feel about the products that I got that I'm newly using. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, of course, share with your friends. Let's get into this moisturizing routine. If y'all see my nails, I broke two of them, get them done tomorrow. But yeah, they're broken, so who child. But let's get into this video. All right, you guys, so here comes the new stuff. So I picked up one, two, three, four. Sheesh, I picked up five different oils that I wanna put into a mixture, but I'm actually going to keep one separate. The first oil that I'm going to use several times a week and that I've been using, which I love so far, is Wild Growth. So with the wild growth oil, I'm very familiar with it. I've used it before. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this twice a week on Mondays and Sundays. I'm gonna put this in my hair. So I'm actually not going to put this in my hair today for um, this part of the moisturizing routine, but I will be putting it on my scalp twice a week. So when I went to the store, you guys, I ended up getting this huge bottle for putting my oil in it. And as y'all can see, I don't know if you can see it, but there are measurements on it. There's the milliliters, goes from 250 to 10 milliliters, then it has ounces and goes from one ounce to up to 250 milliliters. And I like that you're able to measure it because again, I got four different oils I wanna mix together. So the first oil that will be in this mixture is rice bran oil. All it is is cold pressed rice bran oil. But look, hold up, I'm actually going to let y'all know the benefits to it. It says that rice bran oil is used in hair, oil repairs dryness, damage, and brittleness, contributing to hair's moisture and softness without leaving a heavy, greasy residue, which is super important considering, you know, we're locked. So we don't want a lot of buildup. We don't want any buildup if we can help it. And it said it's known for preventing premature development of gray hair. That's always good. Um, and they said rice bran oil is rich in omega-3 and six fatty acids, acids, excuse me, which help nourish the hair. So you already know that's definitely going in my mixture. The second oil that I got is rose hip oil. Okay, so rose hip oil. So it promotes hair growth as it is non-greasy and lightweight, again, super good for the locks, prevents hair loss, reduces split ends for naturals who are loose, um, tames your frizzy hair, and controls dandruff and naturally conditions your hair. So I was like, yeah, definitely gonna add that to my mixture. Okay, guys, so the next oil I decided to get was virgin hair fertilizer oil. So I was gonna get the virgin hair fertilizer for my edges, right? But then I was just like, you know what? When I saw the loose one and I saw all of the, you know, stuff inside it, it has a lot of like good stuff. It's herb infused. That's why I was like, you know what? This is better than getting the, um, the typical hair fertilizer. And I was like, this would be great for my um, edges, but this will also just be good for my scalp. So virgin hair fertilizer helps stimulate hair growth by getting the blood flow going, which is perfect because you know, you need that stimulation to get your hair growing anyway. So set a daily application to the hair and scalp will condition the scalp, get rid of dandruff, and condition broken and dry hair. So you already know that's going in there. Last oil that I got to add to this, cause I've just seen it so much on Pinterest, I think was the main place I saw it, just not in this container, was um, getting Alma oil. said to strengthen the scalp and hair, reduce, reduce premature pigment loss from hair or graying, stimulate hair growth, reduce hair loss, prevent or treat dandruff and dry scalp, prevent or treat parasitic hair and scalp infections like lice. So what I like is that all of these seem to have great benefits and they're all seemingly lighter. I know the almond oil is actually a little heavier because that's the only one that didn't say was a light oil, so I'm assuming it has some sort of heaviness to it, so I'm not gonna add that much, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much I'm adding to this little mixture bottle. All right, first one I'm going to add to the mixture is the almond oil. Okay, this is how much I put in. It is half of an ounce. 
ounce, <laughs> a, half of a, a half of an ounce of almond oil. There, y'all can see. The second one we're gonna take is the rosehip oil. And, excuse me. And since it's lighter, I'm not gonna worry about so much of like how much I'm putting in it, so. The rosehip oils in here were up to one and a half ounces. The rice bran oil. That's what we're gonna take next. Ooh. These things are terrible anyway. Don't smell like anything. So now I'm gonna pour it. We're up to two and a half ounces of oil. Lastly, we're going to add the virgin hair fertilizer, which excites me because it has the herbs in there, so I feel like the oil's gonna look cute. Not that that matters, but okay, time to pour it in. We're up to three and a half ounces, three and a half ounces of oil, y'all. Okay, so this is what the oil ends up looking like. I think it looks pretty cool. And let's see what it smells like, because I know, look, we don't want nothing smelling bad on our head. It doesn't smell anything, it smells natural, like kind of not pepperminty, but I think the herbs, it smells, it smells like herbs. So yeah, I'm just going to take this all over. Of course, I'm gonna take it around my edges. Cause we got that virgin hair for a in it too, chill. So we need all the growth. So after I'm just gonna, Go through and just like massage that oil in. Massage it in, massage it in. I'm probably gonna use this two times a week or two to three times a week. Last thing we're gonna do, which is something I always do to my locks, is add grapeseed oil. I add a generous amount and I usually like to mix it with a cream leave-in conditioner, but since I used my um, spray one, I'm not going to worry about that because my hair still got conditioned. So yeah, rubbing all that oil. Just taking them over the locks. Ooh, y'all, there's grease dripping on my head. I need to put a scarf on. Whew. And take it all through there, y'all. Up through all the layers. Oh my gosh, getting oil on my clothes. Mm. Oh, my hair feels so good. Now, I'm gonna show y'all what my hair looks like up close. All right, you guys, so that's my whole moisturizing video. I'll definitely give you guys an update on this oil that I made and let you know if any of these combinations, if I see more growth, my hair feels way more moisturizing. I'll let you guys know at the end of the month how I feel and what products I'm going to keep and which ones I'm about to kick out of my routine. But thank you for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs up, like, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you use some of these or if you have some recommendations too. Um, I love my grapeseed oil. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.